We were going to fly first from Hartford to New York and then to California. We brought along our scotch tape made sign and the pilot and stewardess were greatly interested in our being Disneyland contest winners. The children each wore white sailor hats that had Connecticut written on them so people would know where we were from. This was the first time they had flown in an airplane, so it was very exciting for them. In those days they didn't have jet planes, just propeller driven airships. But just being in an airplane like this was a tremendous experience for all of us. The pilot flew right over Weathersfield, so we could look out the window and try to pick out our own house someplace in the middle down there. When we got to New York, the plane landed at the old Idlewild International Airport, which later became the J.F. Kennedy Airport. We had to change planes here, and I must tell you that the Scotch Date Contest Prize was actually only for a family of four. And here we were, a family of five, without any extra funds. But, since we certainly couldn't leave anyone behind, we worked out a deal. The company had furnished us with four first-class tickets, and we simply exchanged them for five tourist tickets at no extra cost. It meant we wouldn't get fancy meals served to us in the luxury rear section of the plane, but we were happy just to eat our picnic box lunches in the more crowded forward part of this giant TWA Super Constellation plane which had a capacity of 64 passengers. Here we are out on the runway ready to depart for the long nine hour flight from New York to California. Uh, this was a difficult shot to take of the plane taking off but I used a telephoto lens. As the plane flew over New York City we could look out the window and see down on the right the United Nations building and then over on the left, the Empire State Building. What a thrill it was to be four miles up in the sky, flying high above the clouds. We followed our route on a map of the United States, so we could tell when we flew over the Mississippi River down there below, on our way to a midpoint stop at the striking new St. Louis, Missouri airport. Here they changed crews and the plane was refueled. As we flew on across the country above the Great Plains and then the Rocky and Sierra Mountains we counted a total of 14 states we had flown over by the time we landed in California. We had traveled over 3,000 miles in a single day. This was the first time that any of us had set foot in California. So this was a big moment. We were met at the airport by a limousine which drove us to the fabulous Huntington Sheraton Hotel in Pasadena.